Hello everybody, Steve here, and today I got this uh, little Berg Vokter Bokia to pick today. So um, basically I got this out of my box of locks to do earlier today and then and then opened it up and practiced with a little bit just to, you know, I wanted to kind of do a out of package pick, but not quite there not quite there yet with doing these dimple locks so I did get it open and practice with it a little bit but uh, so here's the lock and here's the keys it came with six keys believe it or not so if we take a good look at this lock it actually is a five pin lock and got two pins that are zero lift but uh, the reason I say it's five pin I mean, the key looks like there's more. Looks like there's two rows of pin. That looks kind of intimidating. But when I look into the lock, into that keyway, I can see, and you can see there's only one row of pins in there on this top part up here. So anyway, let's, uh, so it is only a five pin lock. So this is a Berg Vokter Bokia. Uh, here's the side. That was the front. Here's the side. There's a sticker there. Doesn't focus right now. Whatever. Anyway. And then on the back it says this is a 450 slash 40. Better kind of see it now. Germany. German Engineering. There's the sticker on the other side, and there's the bottom. <clears throat> so, I wanted to go ahead and pick this. So, I um, guess you can kind of say it's a little bit of an out of packet pick, but not quite because I did open it up earlier today and got it out. And still kind of working on dimple lock, so it's still kind of hard to do these in hand so far so I'll get my vice in here to do to help me out today so the key it can it is reversible so you can do the key either way um, it does work obviously and it's kind of nice to have this little brass so obviously as you can tell it does only turn clockwise that's it so it's kind of nice to have this brass padlock but so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my multi-pick uh, 1.5 millimeter wrench and since it only goes clockwise that means I have to tension clockwise and I have to pick anti-clockwise and I think this is a number nine flag if I'm not mistaken but anyway, so let's get this going. Um, so the biggest reason I got this out is because, you know, I was working on a bunch of locks and, or I was working on a lock and not quite getting anywhere, not quite having time to practice a lot. So I tried a couple others, and then when. Uh, I've got a little click added too there. Give me a little bit of core movement. Then uh, um, I was going into my to-do box and I found this little guy in there <clears throat> unopened. And so I figured I might as well give this a quick little try to see what happens. Okay, so basically what I'm doing since it's five pins, I went in here and clicked reset it so we can see what's going on. So I go in here to pin number one and I'll try to lift that up. But that's not really doing anything, so I'll go to pin number two. Get a little click and a little bit of core movement. Try pin one again. 
I'm not getting anywhere. It's kind of hard for me to see really well because of the way the lock is positioned. So now there's pin number three and I'm going to try and squeeze under that because it's a no lift and get to pin four. Hopefully that's pin four. Not quite right. Gonna turn a little bit so I can see a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, I'll try this again. I swear pin one would work for me at the first. There's a click out of pin one. Okay, that seems like it's making progress. Pin two. Try not to get my pick stuck. I think I got pin two. Squeeze under three. We'll go to pin four, hopefully. Okay, let's try that again. Bear with me. Still not the expert at tempo locks, so. I think the biggest trick with this lock was making sure that um, I don't hit pin 3 and 5. Let's try this again. Maybe I can see better this time. Pin two went up. Okay, that was pin two clicked. Okay, squeeze under pin three. I'll try to go to pin four. Okay, that felt like a click there. There's pin one. There we got it. Okay, that's finally, finally, whew, there we go, and somebody's home right at the right time, there we go, so, got this little Bergwachter Bokia, picked open, dimple lock picked open, 5 pin, is a 45-40, so it's 40 millimeters, nice little brass padlock, so there we got it, we got it finally, <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking with me and, and being a little patient. I'm still kind of new. Not quite the best with dimple locks, but I'm working on it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that, uh, <clears throat> that you uh, leave a like and, yeah, and, and that you're subscribed. Definitely leave comments down below. Tell me what you think. And thank you very much for watching. And have a wonderful day.